Hey guys, it's Pete from Four Leaf here. Today we're at the Jamaica Air Train Station. We're gonna go take the Long Island Railroad into New York City. So to exit the air train, you need a Metro card. The fare is seven dollars and seventy-five cents. So we're gonna walk through this hallway here, and on the other side are ticket vending machines. Now right over here where all the ticket vending machines are located. So these right here are joint Long Island Railroad slash Metro card machines. So on one side of the ticket is the Metro card and the opposite side is the Long Island Railroad ticket. This is what I recommend buying if you're planning on taking the Long Island Railroad, which we are doing in this case. So right now the lines are kind of long, so I'm just going to use the Metro card I purchased on the way out. Now this is a regular Metro card. You can use this for the air train, the subways, and the buses. But on the Long Island Railroad or Metro North, you need a physical ticket. So now we're in the public lobby outside of the air train. So if you go to the right here, there's a escalator and a staircase. That'll take you down to street level. But we're gonna go to the left here. As you can see on the signs, it says the Long Island Road and the subways are out towards the left. So we're gonna pass this little cafe over here. And this is where we go outside. So here's a regular Long Island Road ticket machine. So the first one I'm going to select is an off-peak ticket. This is what I generally recommend buying. The peak period on the on the Long Island Road is only a small portion of the weekday. And if you happen to purchase an off-peak ticket and get on a peak train. You can just pay the conductor the difference. It's usually about $3. If you carry a disability card or are a senior citizen, you're entitled to a half price fare. So you just have to be a senior citizen over 65 years old or carry that card with you and display it when you give the conductor your ticket. Now, if you're with a group of people, I highly recommend purchasing a 10-trip off-peak ticket. These tickets come at a discounted rate, and if you're with a group of people, you can use it for everyone. So everyone saves money, and it's all on one ticket. So if you're traveling with children between the ages of 5 and 12, you can purchase a family fare ticket. This ticket just costs $1.00. If you happen to be traveling during the peak AM rush hour going into Manhattan, you just have to purchase peak child tickets. So generally in Jamaica, if you have any questions regarding which tickets to purchase, there's usually a Long Island Railroad employee in, the, in a vest right by the ticket machines up here. So just make sure to ask if you're unsure of which tickets to properly purchase before getting on the train. All right, so now we're gonna walk down to the platform level. So to the right, there are elevators taking you down to the platform if you have a lot of luggage. Right here, I'm just gonna take the staircase down. Now generally, one mistake that I will commonly see is people will get off the air train and they'll walk right down to track seven and eight. This is because Google Maps will tell you where the train is coming from rather than where it's going to. 
a general rule of thumb is if you're going to Manhattan, just look for track two. So now we're on board the train going towards New York City. These trains are fairly clean, feature overhead luggage racks. They also feature signage telling you where the train's stopping at and its final destination. On these particular rail cars, the bathrooms are located in every other car. These are the odd numbered cars or the cars that end with an odd number. So right here, for example, we're in car 7781, which you can see right above the sign right there. These cars feature a full ADA accessible bathroom. So these trains get to Manhattan quicker because they can cruise at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. The subway has to make many local stops between Jamaica and New York City, so this is always the better option in getting to Manhattan itself. Now the Long Island Railroad it isn't the cheapest option going into Manhattan, but it is the quickest, the safest, and the most efficient. Now, if you have the money to spend on it, I would highly recommend always taking the Long Island Railroad. Now, if you are budget conscious, the subway is a good alternative at only $2.75. But I look at it that you're saving the time. So it's worth the extra money and the comfort that you get taking the Long Island Railroad. This is the train to end station. The next station here, end station. So now we've arrived in New York City Penn Station. This is all I have to cover in this video. Coming soon in future videos, I will cover how to get to each subway line from Penn Station, as well as many other tutorial videos. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's going to be plenty of more content coming this year. So until next time, thank you for watching.